Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at a new 3D printer, which is larger than the 3D printer I got already, because for the LS project in the Jeep, hopefully I wanna be able to print some parts that I'm gonna need, instead of trying to custom fabricate something or try to buy something, I'm gonna to try to use a 3D printer to utilize, but it could end up being a fail. But anyways, I got two packages, from Flash Forge, printer in the one, little box there. We're not gonna unbox it. We're just gonna open up the packages and see what's inside. First box is open and we got five colors of PLA that we're gonna be practicing with. So what's inside the box? There's the Dreamer NX printer. That must be the top cover. Got a little bag full of goodies. USB cable, some sheets. But let's look inside the bag. So we got a scraper, a knife, some more little tools you're gonna need, and tweezers. So in the other package, got a couple of sheets here that your filament will be printed on. This is your little sheet for leveling, quick start guide. Let's unpackage this. This is the most exciting part. I just removed the plastic cover and this thing's impressive. Fully enclosed. It's gonna come in handy for printing ABS. Let's remove some of these boxes inside. I also see two rolls of filament in the bottom. First box is removed. And we're gonna have some assembly to do. So this is where I'm gonna bust out the instructions and start following along. So the instructions say, remove from plastic and place on its seat. So you wanna be careful. Pick it up. You're gonna have to kind of twist it into place. Set it down as so. Snip these. Remove the foam block from behind. To get the stuff out from the bottom, use both hands. Lift the platform, there's gonna be some resistance. And then gently get everything out from underneath. You may need to lift the platform a little higher. It's moving along in the bottom, two rolls of filament. We got a white, we got a blue, and these must be the locks for the side there where the rolls will sit using the tool kit provided and the screws that came in the little bag, the extruder, we need to bolt that down. So in tightening the screws, you wanna be careful. You just want them snug. You don't wanna tighten them down that you end up stripping them and breaking them. Now you wanna mount the fan So you need to align the holes. Same with the fan. Snug them up and don't over tighten them. So this is where I made a mistake. We got to mount the duct, but I screwed in one of the screws. But this duct has got to go in first. And then the screw. Needs to be tightened down. I apologize. I was getting a little ahead of myself. I'm gonna plug it in now and we're gonna try to set the bed, which is probably one of the hardest part because if your bed isn't level perfectly, it's not gonna print. And uh 
I have another program that I've used on my other one that actually aligned it really good. So we're gonna try the factory one first and then go from there. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is tighten all the knobs up first. Now we're at the platform where I gotta start backing the thumbs out to get an adjustment. You want it so this piece of paper has some resistance. It's too loose, too tight right there. It's got some resistance right there. So now the fun begins, gonna put some filament in there. And I got the program ready. I had a program that was for the Flash Forge Finder and I modified it for the Dreamer NX to uh, help fine tune the bed here to get her leveled up. So I'm gonna get some filament ready here. So the filament gets fed in like this. Slide it in place. Use this key to lock her up. So the filament's got to be fed from the back as shown. And you see this white straw here. You got to feed the filament up into there. And it'll come out the top. It comes out the top as shown. So then we got to go to filament. We got to go to load and it's going to heat up. Almost there. So I'm just going to slide this over, push this bed down. Oh, there we go. You just got to feed it in a little bit. There we go. I'm just going to let it feed like that for a little bit. Let it come out. And then when you're done, you press the button, go to return, and then you can just peel that off. There we go. So I loaded it to the test files and it's gonna be kinda of hard to see in the video but probably won't once it's done it's leveling it's gonna start printing out and out and out and I'm gonna to try to tune the bed because if you don't have the bed set up your prints are gonna be like crap that's half the battle get your bed set up and then you're golden Takes a little bit of work, but I'm pretty happy with that. This bed level print was actually for the Flash Forge Finder. I just modified it for the Dreamer NX here. And I think from that, we can start making our first print and I think we'll be happy with it. So I think we're set up. Sorry for the dirty finger. Dirty from unboxing all this stuff, so. I'm gonna print that weed grinder. We're fully enclosed right now. All the lids and stuff are on. 
is now that we got the bed set up, we gotta work on getting our temperatures. So heated beds at 50 degrees, PLA temperature is gonna be at 200. Printing a raft, I don't know if I need to use a raft with a heated bed. Something I need to experiment with because on the other printer I had to print a raft. So let's let it get warmed up, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, this is the exciting part. Doing the printing, printing the raft. Sounds like a weird video game almost. So far the prints come along pretty good. I'm just doing a standard print right now. I always do that for the first print in case I have to make adjustments, but so far I'm pretty impressed. Um, the heated bed is a huge bonus. Everything's sticking on the table, not lifting at all. So far the print's looking pretty good. We're only a couple hours in though. Currently it's 70% done on the print. And for a standard print, it is turning out already to be looking awesome. First print is done. So this is the first print. Like I said, it's a standard print. Turned out to be pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with it. <clears throat> Usually from my experience when you first set it up, your first print doesn't usually turn out that great. <clears throat> but this one turned out pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. So now we're going to set something up a little bit better and print it off. Something that has some detail. For those who are curious, we're going to go through the, the menu pretty quick here. So <clears throat> you can manually move it. Uh, that's your level to set the bed. Your filament, of course, load and unload for changing. Your status, your about tells you your firmware, all the other kind of stuff, how many hours are on it, your settings you can go into, so Wi-Fi, fan on, <clears throat> and then of course if you back out again, <clears throat> tools which we're in, print, you print from the memory on board, are the memory cards you stuck in the side, and of course, preheat if you want to preheat it beforehand. But that's it in a nutshell so far. Pretty impressed. I just printed this last night and it turned out really good. This is going to be for my steel blower. I'm going to show you that in a few seconds. Now, if you have a steel BR600 blower, this is going to help out a lot, especially when you're carrying it around. Strap is attached now. No more nozzle flapping around. Getting mad, want to smash it. So this is the big test right here. Machine's just warming up. Bed plates going up. Is that I'm printing a sluice mat for gold mining. And it's gonna be almost as wide as that table. So we're gonna see the print we're also going to see how well I lined it. I just put in a fresh roll of green. So I guess we're going to see what happens. 13 hours to go. As you can see, we're pretty much utilizing the whole bed. And we're going to see what kind of print we're going to get. 17 minutes in. 13 hours to go. Well, we're six hours into printing right now. Still got a long ways to go. Pretty happy so far. Sitting flat on the bed still. Hasn't started to lift, so that's a positive sign. 90% done. It's looking good. So here's the final product, all printed. It's pretty much utilized the whole bed. So needless to say, I'm pretty sure printer is dialed in. I am very impressed with this Dreamer NX. It is definitely a great printer. Now that we got her dialed in, 
we can start printing some real stuff. So I'm gonna end the video here. My first look, first prints, very impressive. Uh, since it's all enclosed, like I said before, I'm looking forward to printing some stuff out of ABS plastics and that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now I gotta get the, a proper program to start making some designs for the LS swap for like air intake and all that stuff. So I'll talk to you guys soon.